Oh, hello there. Well, what you're about to witness is my attempt to make gnocchi. You know, I've, I've made pasta before and I've rolled dough. I thought, well, this would be easy, right? Well, it didn't come out exactly the way I intended it to. However, I decided to record it anyway and use this as another example of how you can make something good out of something not so good. Actually, it wasn't bad at all. Anyway, you'll see. Just continue on and I'll drink this tea. Mm. Okay, greetings. So today I'm going to make gnocchi. Okie dokie. Yeah, you know, you can buy it frozen, and that's what you know you would do most of the time. Just pop it into a into a pot, boil it up, and Bob's your uncle. But I'm gonna do it the hard way. Just to just to see that I can, right? I made it once before. It is time consuming. However, we'll get to it. And then I'm going to make a beautiful sauce to go with it. It's going to be fantastic. Okay, so I, I, I saved the trouble of seeing me boil potatoes. So I boiled some potatoes and mashed them. About two pounds of potatoes. And so from there we have to do the following. Some flour. It's about uh, two cups of flour. All right. Now this is the hard part. This is still a bit hot. It was supposed to be. Can't lie, I never made it before. <laughs> but I know how, I just haven't actually tried it. So we're going to find out today if, if, if I can do it or not. And if it's worthwhile doing it this way or just letting somebody else do all the hard work. Which I think it probably is. However, I'm always up for a challenge. And if it works out, then you know what? Bob's your uncle. Uh, let's try that first. Okay, ooh. Hot burny burny. This is the part I do not like. However, so far, so far so good. All right, let's get the rest of it in there. Hopefully, I have enough potatoes. Now, some recipes call for a little nutmeg, but you know, I'm not going to bother. I don't think it's necessary. What I'm going to add to it will make all the difference in the world, right? Okay, that's it for that. Let's see if we can do this now. Oh boy. <laughs> yes. Now, this is just all all purpose flour, which I think is okay. Uh, you can use semolina, but I've been told you can use all-purpose all flour. So that's what I'm going to use, because that's what I have. I do have some semolina, but forget about it. It's all good. All right, so let's see now. All right, so I'm going to put in one egg. I'm going to mix that in there, hopefully. Quite a challenge, isn't it? Quite a mess, too, I must say. Hmm. Well, I think it's going to work, though. Oh, what a mess. Should have my ring off. Oh. All right. We'll continue with this. Roll it into a nice little ball. We'll come back. Okay. All right. So I've got a. I got my little ball here. I'm going to cut that into uh, four pieces. And hopefully, this will roll out. And we can. Uh... Wow. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is going to work. Ah. Oh. Yeah, you know what? I think I made a mistake here. I should have got rid of all that flour, I think maybe, yeah, you're going to need a little more, 
but I followed the instructions. I'm not sure if this is going to work, but you know what? I'm willing to give it a try. Yeah. Okay. Let's cut it into four slices here. Ah, oh, yes, yes, yes. All right, so the theory is, if I've done my research, yeah. No, I don't think this is going to happen, but boy, it's a bit too flaky. Oh, well. <laughs> I wonder if I could do something else with it, but well. No, it's not going to roll out the way I want it to. Oh, boy. There's going to be some nasty looking gnocchi. Oh, there we go. All right, I'm going to continue this so you don't have to watch me do it. And we'll get right back to it. So at this point, I realized that I created a mutant form, a mutant cross between gnocchi and dumpling. So that's why I'm going to call it Dumpling. Sounds good, right? Sounds like something you've never heard of before. And anyway, continuing on, I'm quite happy with the result. And I'll tell you how it turned out at the end. Well, you'll see how it turned out, but I'll give you my commentary. All right. Beautiful day. Let's see what's going on here, baby. Well, these aren't like traditional gnocchi. That's for damn sure. definitely not like like gnocchi however this might be a this might end up being a failure but you know what I'm gonna do it anyway we're gonna see I'm gonna cut them like this much this much because they're a little chunky aren't they yeah although I have seen chunky gnocchi before it's not a big deal yeah normally I I test recipes before I do a video but this time I thought you know I haven't really had a chance to test anything so I've been busy yeah it's just you know things you have to do things that need doing you know when you own a house and it's old and all that good stuff however we'll see how this goes now here's the thing about gnocchi you can get these things called like a, a gnocchi board it has like it's a, for the little ridges on it. You can slide your gnocchi down. But yeah, I don't have one of those. And nor am I going to buy one for you know something I only use once. So I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to take my thumb and do some little divots there. Oh, <laughs> these are chunky, aren't they? There we are, like that. See, it's a little time consuming. And since I've never done it before, I kind of buggered it up a bit. But we'll see how it comes out. I might be surprised. I might be surprised. I might be shocked. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to continue to do these till they're all done. And you don't have to see me do that, but you get the idea, right? Let's just roll it up a little tighter. Thumb there. Right? A little pocket for it. They're not all the same size either, which is unusual yeah okay we're gonna do it this way thumb there you go little hole not like today what do they call it oh, I'm not gonna get into it it's the and there we are I've got some in the bowl I've got a pot of uh, water salted water boiling I'm gonna throw these in the, in, in the water we'll see what happens right uh, let me put them all in the bowl here and we'll get to that 
you know, the idea is <clears throat> when they float to the top, they should be ready. Unless I completely buggered it up, which is entirely possible. But that's why we're here. We're here to learn, right? Oh, Ideally, it's nice to put them all at the same time if you, if you can, but, you know, Let that uh, do its thing, and we'll come back. Meantime, meanwhile, while that's happening, I'm going to make that sauce I was telling you about. Let's do that. Okay, well, I had this um, heirloom tomato that I cut up and put in here. I was going to use this one, but I don't think I have to. This is going to add nicely to our sauce. So I'll take care of that. One moment. And actually, for a bit of color, I might put some of this in there. Just because. Ooh. I'm not liking that too much. I got ripped. Oh, I don't like when that happens, so I'll just throw that out. Oh my god. Well, you know, these things happen, right? When you buy organic. Not everything is perfect, but hey, it's not bad. I'm not complaining. Alright, I'll save the rest of that for later. Alright, just chop that up. that don't want that we don't want that and that should be good enough I'm gonna put this in, in here and I'm gonna try this this is the magic bullet ah I never stuffed this much into a magic bullet before but this is all softening uh, I've got some greens I've got some some spinach kale and Swiss chard we're gonna see what happens here I know that when you turn this upside down on here everything's gonna fall to the, fall to the top or which is the bottom all this to avoid having to clean out a big, a bigger blender for a small amount of stuff. Mm, mm, mm. Hey, here we go. Captain, it's green. Beautiful. All right, and that's all there is to it. Let's take a look here. Not bad. There you go. Can you dig it? All right. Let's get back to what we were doing. All right, I've got some oil in that pan. Gonna get our onions in. While they're happening, we're gonna try this milky. A little bit of garlic butter in this pan. And hopefully these work out. They're a little mushy now, but, you know, I'm not going to use them all. I might freeze the rest of them and try it that way. All right, in go the tomatoes. want for these to melt down. Okay, oh, I want this butter to uh, brown. Put in some of this gnocchi. Brown it up a bit. Yeah, it's a bit mushy, isn't it? Oh, well, we'll see how it goes. I might be surprised. <laughs> Not traditional monkey, that's for sure. Can you see that? 
Nice, huh? Let's see brown there. Wow. This is all blipping away here. It's excellent. I'm gonna have a little taste. Ah, did I give myself a spoon? Did I? Good. I just a little seasoning. Salt, pepper. Turn that way down. Like a minute longer, and that's it. We'll come back when it's done. I'm quite happy with this. See how they taste though. I'll taste one before I put the sauce on because I'm curious to know. I think that's gonna be enough for now. Taste one. Put that one aside will taste it. soft but it tastes okay and that's the best part oh yeah right. looking good I say and one last thing this here is mountain oak chili gouda it's Ontario so let's see how it goes a little bit of that on there it definitely couldn't hurt. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, baby. All right, there it is. Okay, I'm going to give this a try now with the sauce. Let's get some of that in there. You know what? The consistency isn't perfectly right. But you know what? It tastes really, really good. And that sauce, I'm really impressed. Very simple, right? Get yourself a blender, put some stuff in there. Mm. Oh no. Come on. Oh, hot, hot, hot. Mm. In spite of the fact it wasn't perfect gnocchi, I still think it's a winner. So if I practice this, I think maybe I'll never buy frozen gnocchi again. I'll go a little thinner, something up, and do this with the thumb and forget the board. Everything's good. I'm happy with this. So if you like it, you know what to do. Put a smash that like button, and uh, I'm going to take care of this, and I'll talk to you later. All right. No, no, man. And that was the 80s, man. Okay, no, no, listen. No, I think you're getting confused. I think that was an exotic Egyptian dancer named Nefertiti. Yeah. Oh, anyway, listen, I have to go, okay? Uh, I'll talk to you. No, I'll talk to you later. It's okay, it's okay. Mm hmm yeah. Okay, bye. Mm hmm Okay, bye, bye. Sorry. I hope you enjoyed that. The video I mean so <laughs> as you can see it came out pretty good actually the ones that I didn't use I put them in a freezer bag put them into the freezer and when I went to use them again I put them in a, a bit of hot water to boil them up a bit and they came out just fine in fact you know I think I will attempt to do you know better gnocchi but I like this this was not bad I think well what can I say something good out of something bad so I mean I could have just you know uh, tried it again and given you the perfect version but I thought you know every now and then I like to show you my mistakes as well 
um, and I didn't prepare for this one. I didn't, uh, I didn't try it out ahead of time. So there you go, uh, hubris and all that good stuff. All right, so I think that's it, right? That it? Okay, later. Happy bees.